And now it looks like we have none. Damn it, Bart. Why do you have to ruin all our nice things? This is why we can't have nice things. We have the coordinates of the recent dimensional vibrations. Ignis, in the Lehan region, the Northeast Ocean. From the wave pattern, it's definitely a gatekeeper. A gatekeeper? There's more than one? There are no regular mainland flights. Could it be Shavat's Afalora? Afal? Aria? No, the mass is different. It's a much smaller pattern. I can't believe that the lambs have a ship equipped with a gatekeeper. It probably is Kislev's. The last purge was not complete. Damn you. Shouldn't you pursue? What? The one who caused you so much pain and grief is on that ship. And it's headed for Akuvi. Put all the crew members on emergency alert! We're attacking the Kislev ship! We don't have orders from the capital yet. If we move from here... I don't care! I won't allow them to escape! Ming just... Whatever! I am done! Here, Ramses. I believe I already said your tricks will do you no good. I'm just trying to help. Didn't I help get those shackles off? Now, you know that the vessel will only respond to the Chosen One. They don't know this, but he's necessary for Carr. He's the very meaning of Carr's existence. Yes, I must thank you. After all, you did help me, didn't you? Was it for me? Or for him? Or for yourself? And out comes... Well, we don't know the name of the ship yet, do we? Out comes the giant salamander! Spread your wings! Show off your salamanderiness. We'll take down the boundary between gates one and two, which is the shortest way to Hecuvi. Fine. Message from Kelvena. Dominia is withdrawing into Heishau. She will pursue the area battleship. Aerial battleship. So we got Dominia. Oh, now we've got these alien guys. Who isn't involved in this explosion? Perhaps this orders are to active excavate the animal relics in Ignis and to watch over the lambs. What is he? We can recover the animal relics anytime. Moreover, he we learned that he was on a transferred ship. Ramses was probably after him. So it was the trauma. Nay, in this case, Negrets. It was the severe external wounds. According to the memory cube, we found multiple subjects around him that possess the animus factor. Is it Sufradi, the subject of the M project? Yes. Coincidence? Nay, it is beyond that. They were either attracted to him or unexpectedly is developing into the same condition as 500 years ago. That does not rule out the possibility he planned it this way intentionally. The transfer point is Akuvi. It's near the Thames. If it is Akuvi, Krellian's headed that way. Krellian himself? What for? It seems they found it. For over 4,000 years he searched for Zebuim's legacy. Legacy? Is that the technology he was talking about? Holy crap, it's the Emperor. Yes. Molecular engineering. Nanotechnology. The land of all creations. The capital of Zebuin culture resting beneath the ocean of Akivi. For 19 years, the ethos kept it secret. Is this acceptable, Kane? Emperor Kane. We finally get a name for him. Yes, it will do for now. 19 years. That coincides with the time when the Earth shifted. Indeed. But I don't understand. That technology doesn't seem that crucial to us. He is still a lamb. Giving him the ability to do as he wishes is questionable. There are times when we do not know what he is thinking. Let it be. 
I will take responsibility for that. On another matter, weren't you all going to eliminate it? It's just by chance. His probable location is Ignis. Anyway, I never believed it would be eliminated so easily. The purge was a failure. This shall never happen again. If the animus are together, it is all the more reason. Yes. Kane, why are you so concerned about it? To us, he is insignificant. It could only be a poison to us. It could never be a remedy. And on LB. You s don't still believe that, do you? That is merely an illusion. Not even an ideal. The result is what I am now. It is as you see it. Or rather, is it the emotion you have long forgotten? Cain, we are gods. What the hell were they talking about? Oh, okay, so, uh... We're Ellie now. If I was with Faye, headed for the weird block. Faye, where are you, Faye? Alright, so, it's off to find Faye. Um, jump up here. Is it here? Yes. This is the only thing that's slightly off color. We must use it. And Faye was inside. Ellie, you are awake. Am I awake? What were you doing? Nothing. I was looking around inside here. There's less than two days worth. What? Food. We're lucky we even found any. But where is everyone? Are we the only survivors? We gotta do something. Guess I'll go catch fish. Faye. They're okay. What? They're okay. Doc, Rico, Hammer, everyone. They're all going to be okay. I don't know how he knows that. Hammer, Rico, wake up! Something smells. It's Hammer. It's d always Hammer. We are inside the ship of Bart and his crew. They rescued us after we were shot down in the Goliath. Who the heck are Bart and his crew? Let's say they are bandits robbing Ave. Bart is their leader, though he is still a young man. A robber in this day and age. A man with an attitude. I like it. Do you want to start off by going to meet Bart? You read my mind. I'm staying here. Now you can you can talk to Hammer. But he obviously will not sell you anything. And that is quite disappointing at times. And oh, we're down in the uh Ugh, we're down in the place with the horrible camera angle. Um, that's the stairs right over there. Now you can talk to Maison. I'm sorry to put you out so much. We should have stopped the young master. I am terribly sorry. My chronic lumbago, lumbago has gotten worse since I hustled in Ave. He won't tell us anything either. He's, he's not very nice to us. But, uh, well, the one thing I want to know more than anything else is, are there new gear parts? <sighs> Never seen Rico so small before. This is the gear shop. Look inside if you want to tune up your gear. That's what I was trying to do. But you got in my way. What's up? I heard there was a shortage of people, so I decided to participate. Actually, I got fed up with my job in the small hideout. What do you want to do with your gear? Yeah, we can u we can still tune up well tall and all that. Um, I don't think I actually want to now though. Um, I'll just skip uh, the well tall and the Vierge for now, and I'll just work on the Heimdall and uh, and the steer. Get up to sixty four. No, that's what he already has. And the armor. Ooh, 25. Nice. And then tune up, refuel it. There we go. 
Oh, let's do the brigand here as well. I forgot all about you. You definitely need to upgrade. Let's get you, get you some stuff here. 6,400 HP. There we go. Do they have any, any new weapons for you? They have ammo. Interesting. Ooh, extra AR plus four. Uh, increases agility in barons, water, and uh, ether machine and ether defense. I will be getting, uh, I believe, four. We'll, we'll, we'll suffice for now. And uh, I think we're good here. And up to the steer engine. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to upgrade that. And nothing for this Ren Moswell. Huh. Don't know. Don't know what that is yet. Stop spoil trying to spoil things for me, game. It's not nice. Weapons! 100 shots, 100 shots. Yeah, we can't. Figured maybe it was for the steer, but it is not. Let's go ahead and finish tuning him up. And there we go. That's going to be my setup for the next few videos. What's up? General Maitreya, Falcon, and Ferent are gone. Falcon! Falcon gone! I don't know where he went. I didn't even know there was a guy named Falcon. Now, there sh the gear should be docked here, right? We've already seen the Brigandier. We've seen... Have we seen the Heimdall? I don't know if we have. I might as well show this off just in case. What do you want to do? View gear from the front, because that's the only side that matters. Nice. And then, uh, what do you have to say? This is the Heimdall. Dr. Satan Suzuki's gear. Nice. The basic frame was excavated at the same time as the young master's gear, but its output was proportionately too powerful for the body, so it took a long time to adjust it. Actually, many of my team members were injured because of it. You're welcome. But Dot solved the problem so easily and can control it so well now, it's just amazing. Alright, we're, we're done. We're, we're done looking at the Heimdall. But let's go over there and look at the gear, uh, the, the steer, the gear that Ricardo Banderas pilots. And maybe we can get a little bit more lowdown on what this is. Uh, let's look at it from the front. It is quite massive. Quite massive indeed. What do you got to say about it? This is steer. It's the battling champ Rico's gear. Right, I, you know, I don't know what those mean, so whatever. It's heavy as hell, though. Although it appears slow, it's actually quite nimble with the grind rollers. Since it's built for battling, it's got the best endurance. The drill claw on the left arm has the ability to tear through steel plates of up to 0.8 Charles. No way! 0.8 Charles? You're lying! I don't believe it! What the hell's a Charles? Okay. So that's pretty much all we need to do. Well, actually, I apologize. That's all I wanted to do. That's kind of side questy. Um, you know, just just showing off a little bit what we can do to upgrade gears. You don't really need to do it, but I I enjoy it a little bit. Let's go in here. This room seems to be for ladies' use only. Oh, I can't even talk to Margie. Check in on Choo Choo. So I guess we'll. We'll go back up to the bridge. This is the Yggdrasil 2, by the way. They, don't, they didn't bother renaming it. They just... They just added a numeral to it. So what's up, Bart? Well, if